y'all. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So yesterday was Transgender Day of Visibility. Did not know that was a holiday. But to put it lightly, there was a lot going on on the internet. TikTok had trans flags everywhere. Nickelodeon had like 12-year-old trans kids dancing. Twitter was chaos, but I mean, what's new there? To make it easier on you, I have picked out my three favorite moments from this momentous holiday so that you can try to get the full picture. So while yesterday was Transgender Day of Visibility, it was also the last day of Women's History Month. And on this day, the Washington Post decided to erase women. So they posted pregnant people at a much higher risk of breakthrough COVID, study shows. And then there is a woman in the uh, cover photo of the article. Pregnant people, did you catch that? Most people in the comments did, thank God. <laughs> this first one killed me. Don't show this title to JK Rowling. <laughs> Somebody says, as a dude, I hate it when I get pregnant. <laughs> it's just the worst. <laughs> So Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and now Little People Scouts? Yeah, well, considering any gender can be either of the Scouts, this feels like the next move. I got a pregnancy test today, and it came back negative. I'm a single dude and not ready for a baby yet. It must have been the Taco Bell. <laughs> it's a pregnant person right there. Just drink some smooth move, and you'll be just fine, my dude. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Their tweet got ratioed, obviously, and people were quick to call out the absurdity of calling women pregnant people. I mean, it reminds me of like two weeks ago when there was that ad that was calling women bleeders. They're just calling us whatever they feel like it. It's ridiculous. Also on the transgender day of visibility, it was announced that Caitlyn Jenner would be joining Fox as a contributor. AP first dropped the news here. They said, Fox News Channel says it has hired Caitlyn Jenner as a contributor, with her first appearance set for Thursday on Sean Hannity's program. The network said Jenner will offer commentary and analysis across various Fox News media platforms. Listen, to be honest, nobody seems happy about this. I mean, conservatives are angry at Fox for not being conservative enough, and the left is angry at Jenner for betraying the trans community. It's a whole thing. All in all, this was not a very tolerant trans day of visibility. We're coming back to J.K. Rowling here. Somebody says, As always, like every other trans visibility day, I wish a heartfelt f*** you to J.K. Rowling and Caitlyn Jenner. Things are going great on the internet. This is fine. James commented and said, So every other Kardashian turned them down. Yeah, I'm envisioning a Kim Kardashian legal show, like Judge Kim instead of Judge Judy. This is so cringe. Guilty. LOL, it's the perfect landing for long, blonde-haired women willing to say anything to get attention. Caitlyn Jenner being hired by Fox News makes sense. It's basically the keeping up with the Kardashians of news channels. Like I said, nobody, nobody was happy about this, except Tommy Lahren. Tommy Lahren was happy. She tweeted about it. She's friends with Jenner, so good news for Tommy. They're going to be colleagues now. The last internet moment that deserves recognition is this post from Beta O'Rourke. Sorry, Beto, sorry. He posted this photo. It's him wearing a t-shirt that says, don't mess with trans kids with some, you know, Texas symbolism on the shirt. People had a lot of thoughts. First and foremost, <laughs> about his teeth. People went after his teeth. I mean, they're not wrong. They kind of look like mouth of Sauron teeth, so. And who is this? Greg Price <laughs> edited the photo and said, I need a dentist. Jack Basobiak just simply put a box of Crest 3D white strips. This person says, is this a mugshot from another DUI? <laughs> Which, I mean, come on, it is funny. But is that really what we should be focusing on in this photo? Like, just look at it. I feel like there's a lot of other stuff that we should address. This photo was paid for by the campaign to reelect Governor Greg Abbott. You're just giving him good marketing, dude. Let kids become adults before making life-altering decisions. Just that simple. See, these comments, they always just... They're depressing. All right, listen to this. As a non-American, can someone explain to me the obsession that you have for trans whatever? I never even met one in my life, but this seems to be the most important subject in your lives. Guys, this is how people see us. That our country is obsessed with trans people. I mean, they're not wrong. The left is obsessed with changing our entire society and culture for less than 1% of the population. And the right is determined to to keep that from happening. I mean, the fact that this has become such a huge issue in the first place is just mind-boggling, and it's 
honestly embarrassing that it's the way that people see our country. So on that note, <laughs> that very happy note, happy blade of transgender visibility day. Hope you all had a good week. Do you want to be the only person that is not caught up on the internet's latest chaos? I don't think so. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any comment section content.